So the topic I'm going to discuss now is in trigonometry topic angle finding. So uh, how to find the angle? So topic heading is uh, uh, finding angle. So we have a special way I'm going to explain you. This is a first is a quadrant. You know it, zero to ninety. This is called first quadrant. 92 plus 90, 180 called second quadrant. Plus 90, 270 is called third quadrant. And this is called fourth quadrant and finish at 360. So <clears throat> the word quad rent. Okay. So, uh, okay, fine. This is clear. And I tell you in first, second, third, and fourth quadrant, what situation we have. Let me introduce, okay. Uh, here, all positive, I always teach my student like C, A, S, T, cast. C stand for cause, A stand for all, S stand for sign, and T stand for 10. I mean here, all positive, here, all positive. In the sense, it means positive. What about us? Let me step, step by step. So sine, cause, 10. We have three things. Sine is a positive, cause is positive, and 10 positive. So every value is positive. And if you don't believe me, you can take calculator in the type calculator type like sine 80. Confirm positive answer. Cause 80. 100% positive answer and tan 80. You can check in your calculators just now. So you can stop and just check it. Answer match or not match. And I, inshallah, you will believe me. Okay. Let's go for the other. Let's go for the other point. So Another point is what here sign positive and if second quadrant sign positive so naturally so I'm writing here sign positive in this section but if I ask what about cause cause is negative and what about a 10 so 10 is negative in this quadrant so that is why I write sign positive here okay and let's it means 90 and 100 take any angle let's take 100 if you type in calculator sign 100 will give you positive answer Cause 100 will give you negative answer. And if you don't believe me, please type in calculator and check now. So you'll inshallah be confident then after that. Okay. Let's talk about the next one. Uh, I wrote 10 positive here. So it means, let me write it. So 10 is positive here in this section. And sign is negative in this section. And cause is also negative in this section. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. It means from 180 till 270, take any angle. Let's take 200. So 10, 200, if you type it in, it will give you positive. Sine 200 will give you negative. And cos 200 will definitely will give you 100. You don't believe me, so you can check again in typing in calculator. So we'll get the negative values. Last and final quadrant, cos positive in the fourth quadrant. So it means cause is a positive in the fourth quadrant. And what about the rest? 100% negative. So I'm sure up till now, you're not getting any, any issue. So I am writing sign here, sorry, first quadrant, all positive. So all. Here only sign positive and rest negative. Okay. Here 10 positive and rest negative. Here cause positive and rest negative. So I am making a short diagram right hand side. A for all, C, A, S, T, cast. Okay, and I'm rubbing the rest, everything. Yes, please. We can also uh, memorize it like, like add sugar. Yes, a yes, lot, lot of ways we have, we have. Look at here. Uh, I, 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 you, there are a lot of ways are there. Good, correct, you're not, not, not uh, wrong, okay. I give another example. Look at here. All, all students go to cinema. Okay, I can give you another. A lot of words were there. All students take chemistry. Okay, a lot of, lot of ways are there, but you memorize. How you memorize is your wish. Okay, so C-A-S-T, cast. Anyway, you can memorize in many, many ways. Okay, come back. So now I'm finding the angle. Let's start. I'm going to discuss two questions parallelly. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sine theta is equals to half and sine theta is equals to minus half. First, I will discuss these two questions. Then I will go for two more. And inshallah, you will understand, inshallah. So we have still a reasonable time. Let's move on. So before you start, every time you'll make this cross. 
some students ask a cross compulsory cross is not compulsory in exam but i just for more accurate answer or for better understanding please make cross ask yourself cause sign is positive here see what is sign here plus so sign is positive and ask yourself from the diagram where is sign positive sign is positive in first quadrant and second quadrant so i will make one line in first quadrant and one line in second quadrant come on question number 2 sign is negative if sign is positive in first two quadrant and sign is negative in the third and fourth quadrant so i will make one line here and one line here so no matter some student make line like this or like this or like this like this but must be in a third and fourth quadrant that is important this sketch only this is sketch rough idea let's start mr miller can you repeat this again my dear no yes, yes. heart i repeat uh, again because sign value and sign value. positive so ask yourself sign positive where you know all positive here and you know sign positive here and here you know tan positive and here you know cos positive because as i ask sign positive which quadrant you say sir first quadrant sign positive and second quadrant so that is why i make one line here and one line here i'm okay. sure you understanding up till now and here yeah. sign negative yes, got it. so sign negative in the third and fourth quadrant yeah. i that is why i make one line third quadrant one line fourth quadrant i am sure you understanding up till now yeah. is it okay is it yes. okay all right come back next point now i am going to continue and what you will do you will assume this angle theta for a while alpha only for a while and take sine on a other end i will tell you why i took as alpha so sine will go on other end it becomes sine inverse of half same story here this as alpha and i will take and i will take sine on other end but make sure i will not try to include negative sign no 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 that is why i am being alpha i will not include this minus sign inside make sure people okay when i take sin inverse of this one type in calculator give you 30 degree you can check in calculator i am getting 30 degree in both values now after this what you will do next job you will make this angle between line and x axis repeat my words so make angle make angle with the line and x axis okay let me write rules no. later on All, always you will make uh, 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 this angle between here and this angle here never never use y axis i repeat my words this is 30 here i made i write 30 here again i tell you please come on diagram number 2 so i this 30 i will write where here and here and make sure you will not write with the y axis make sure every time some student by mistake they write here no 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 you will not write here you will write with line and x axis so i think rule number rule number 1 alpha sin inverse done rule number 2 finding angle and put values in the diagram done so two steps are over step number 1 and step number 2 over step number 3 is final step step number 3 is my final step and write this theta back okay and now you will take it and i'm writing rule here what is the rule of measurement of angle rule here start from x axis start from positive x axis i'm not saying negative x axis and move anti clockwise till line move anti clock anti clock till line i said till line Still lines. Okay, so look, look at the way. I am starting first answer. So first answer in diagram number one is what? Look, I'm I'm starting the blue marker. So start from positive x-axis. This is a positive x-axis. This is a positive x-axis. Okay, starting from positive x-axis, move anti-clockwise and stop. Why stop here, sir? Because I reach a line. And what is this measurement? Thirty. Congratulation. I got first answer. Okay. So again now, Ramil, you tell me, dear. Start from positive x axis, move and move and move and move and stop. How much this answer? That is nineteen. So uh, repeat again. Start from positive x axis and two stop till line. And you know, Ramil, two full angles from one hundred and eighty minus thirty. Now perfect. Now perfect. Because straight line one eight degree, and you know that one degree. But I need. i need only you know you know what is happening here i need from here to there 
So this angle I don't want. It means, as you said now, 180 minus 30, Mabruk. Answers are coming 30 degrees and 150. Congratulations. And you want to check it? Please type in calculator. If you put this 30 here, it must give you half. And if you put 150 here, it gives you one third half. It means if you check in calculator, sign 30, confirm come half, and sign 150, also come half. Actually, what I was doing, I was looking for those angles which are giving us answer half, and I got it. Alhamdulillah. Let's come to question number two. Now, I read right theta here, and what is the rule of measurement? Start from positive x axis, move anti clockwise till line. So, start from positive x axis here, move, 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 and stop. So, now I think so very clear straight line is a 180 degree that you know. But this 30 is extra. When you need extra, I will add. So 180 plus 30. So this is a 180 plus 30. I'm sure all of you understanding from diagram. So I'm writing here 180 plus 30 is giving first answer. The first answer is 210. Hold on. And second answer, I showed blue, blue color. So start from positive x axis and move to line. Stop, continue, 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 and stop. It means actually this is a line and from here till here is my target. And this is a 30 degree. I actually full circle is 360. But yeah. what is the problem from full, full 360? I don't need this 30. So in short, I am saying here, so 360, 360 minus 30 is my answer. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, 360, let me write again. Let me write again. So 360 minus 30. And I got 330. You want to check it, put this 210 in this theta place and put 30 in this theta place and both answer will give you 100% negative half. You can check it. Like if you type sign 210, it will give you minus half. If you type sign uh, 330, it give you minus half. So Alhamdulillah, hey, Rabbil Alameen, you are I'm sure you're understanding the concept, what I'm delivered to you. So first of all, give me one favor. So first of all, please take a picture so I can uh, I can erase it. And um, I, I think I will take maximum two minutes more and I want to discuss cause questions. So listen only cause and then and then inshallah today class over. So please take a screenshot. So now I'm going to start uh, two more parts and then inshallah class over inshallah. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start once again, concentrate here. All right. Question we have here is here. I'm going to discuss two questions. Cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2. And cos theta is equal to minus root 3 by 2. So let's see how we can deal this one. First of all, make cross. And make cross even here. And you not cast. C-A-S-T cast. So cos positive in first two quadrants. So I will make one line here, one line here. And negative in this quadrant. So I will make, uh, I will make uh, one line here and one line here. I'm sure up till now you're not getting any big issue. After this, take alpha and this cause goes on other end. It becomes cause and verse root three by two. Same story here. Alpha is equal to cause and verse root three by two, but don't take negative sign. I repeat my words. Don't take negative sign. So, and now I'm going to, if we take a cause and this one answer comes 30 degree again. So again, same story here, 30 degree. I could, it is by, I took same values. Okay. 30 between line and X axis. Don't make it, don't make it. I know some student by mistake, they make 30 here. No, no, no. You will make only line and X axis. So let me make 30 also here, 30 here. What about 30 here? Line and X axis, line and X axis. So this part is over. Let's start final answer. And let's start red color. Okay. Start from X axis and positive X axis and move anti clockwise till line. So first answer is this, this is a direct 30. So no need to do any process. Second from here and stop here. Full circle is 360 degree, but this angle I don't want. So 360 minus 30. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I got two answers. So done. And now what about this story? Start from positive x axis, question number two, move till line. So naturally this is a one straight line, 180 degree. But this is, I'm, I want to leave it. So it means I can say here that I have to say uh, theta is equals to 180 minus 30. 
What about second answer? Start from this and move till line. So uh, actually, I'm moving forward. How about forward? It is a 180, you know. And this is a theta. I have to move forward means plus. So 180 plus 30. So my answers are coming 150 and 210. Ramil, open your mic. Are you getting or not? Yes, sir. Clear. So that's it. This is enough for today. All and correct. I will send. Yes, please. Yes, sir. All correct. Same. Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. Idea is very clear. And send a, uh, I, I will give you today homework in your WhatsApp. So I'm seeing, inshallah. Tomorrow, assalamu alaikum. Uh, uh, can you, Thank can you, you tomorrow? Can you do what the, the test tomorrow? Like you can give, like uh, do the, solve the questions. Of